And I don't know if you saw what I saw when we were coming back into the segment. Lewis is up there applauding, getting the audience to applaud. I don't think they were applauding for you, Lewis. I know. I just, you know, <laughs> let me just, if anyone's tuning in late, let me sort of update them on where we are. We're talking to Lewis, who's sitting next to Becky, who... When you came to the show, I think you thought you were his girlfriend. That's what you called yourself. You were here to sort of tell the wife that, that he's with you, although he is married to a woman named Lisa. She's backstage. He's living with Lisa. He's involved with her. He was with her at the hotel last night. And even he said this has been kind of a game with you all the time he's been breaking up with Lisa. He's been, just been going back with you. And you say you love him, but you're not sure why. I asked you if he respects you. You, th you said yes, but it's obvious he doesn't. So now, you ready to meet Lisa? Yeah! Okay. Lisa, come on out. Lewis, did you hear him say you were listening to us, right? Yeah. He said he's afraid of you. <laughs> he said, well, wait till you see her, you'll know why. Why, why is he afraid of you? Be honest. Why is he afraid of you? Well, I should ask. I have unpredictable mood swings. You have what? We used to live in the mountains. Yeah. And uh, we're under a lot of stress. <laughs> 50 miles a day, every day of the week, I commuted to school with no car. For three months, things got real hectic. He, he played house mom. Now, what's the status now? Because we, we I think we know what's going on. You are still married to Lewis. Yeah. You're living together. Yeah. Originally, I think he was telling Becky nothing was going on between you. Well, he's telling me the same thing about Becky. <laughs> he's telling you nothing's going on with Becky. Yeah, Becky, when's the last time you were, you, um, you were with... The first, the first few times I asked him, you know, he, he says, oh, no, it's only you, babe. And uh, <laughs> the next day, the next day, I, uh, I popped open the window at the motel and caught him with two women. Uh, her, she didn't even come out of the bathroom. Two women, not Becky? No, Becky and a friend of hers. Yeah! No, I think we misunderstood. No, I think we misunderstood. You're not, I thought you said, you meant that he was cheating on Becky with somebody else. No, they but were just sharing. Just hanging out. Hanging out in their underwear. That's at all. That time, at that time, nothing was even happening. At that time, so, the day before, no, he was I in my bed. What, what is the relationship? Yeah, go ahead, Lewis. Huh? Are you going to say something? I said at that time there was nothing happening. Between uh, that's why I had no clothes she, on in the motel. <laughs> what is she, the relationship, Lisa, between you and Lewis now? This is my husband. Uh, and yeah, we know that legally you're married, but what is your relationship like? Like marriage. <laughs> We share child rearing, we share, share household responsibilities, we share. Um, so you're a married income, couple. We you're share a married bills, couple. We share a bed. We're okay. trying. We have, we have, we're best friends. <laughs> Your friends, you, are you also husband and wife? You're sleeping together? Yeah. Every day, the, he's been in my house every day but six for the last two months. Ooh. And you were in the same hotel room last night? Yeah. So why, is, why do you think Becky's even here? She desperate. <laughs> she took a man who was um, having a hard time, who was confused, and she decided to, you know, kick it around and figure out what she could get out of it. What? I wanted to ask Becky, why would you stick in a relationship like this? I mean, why don't you go out and find you somebody that can treat you right and respect you? Why don't you respect yourself first? The thing about it, if he's already involved with a married woman, you know, with his wife, you might as well just go on and find your own man. You said, you said that she doesn't matter. It seems to me that to him, neither of you matter. You don't care about either of these women because you don't have respect for either of them. It always amazes me when we do a story like this, Lisa, here you are calling the other woman, Lisa, Lisa, up here, you're calling the other woman nothing, she's nothing and everything. Why aren't you calling him that? He's the one that cheated on you. Because, because I didn't know what life was until I met this man.
I came alive. All you've been telling us is how much he's hurt you. And, yeah. No. Do you know how long ago they were together? Two, three weeks. Yeah. I was there. So you knew, you knew about it? Yeah. You weren't there? You weren't yeah. there. Where? I pulled up. Her car was there. Okay. I, I sat out there for five minutes and they didn't come out. All right. So how do you feel about the fact that he disrespected you and was with another woman? It's very painful. This so, is the man that I trusted completely. So you're saying he's changed over since three weeks ago? <laughs> changed person? He changes every day. We all do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From my understanding here, he doesn't want to be with you either because you keep holding his hand, he keeps taking it away. It seems like... <laughs> it seems like, to me... To me, it seems like you forced to be with her. Like, if, if you can't be with her, she's going to whoop your butt or kill you or something. It's and for Becky, leave him alone. You're a nice young lady. Get a life. You're right. That is, we, didn't, we didn't quite get, a, get an understanding of that, Lewis, of why it is that you're... What are you afraid of Lisa for? Um, I realized, you know, what I did was, was the improper response. Um, and in one way, you know, I, I want to get back with her. But I don't want to have it forced on me. I want to. I want to be able to try myself, you know, to see if I can work it out with her. Not. How can how can uh, how can she force you to do anything? I haven't even tried. She's just. I have asked for nothing except has. for survival needs for the kids and me. So Becky, you know, you. I don't know if you're hearing anything that you didn't know before, but I'm not. Are you prepared to sort of let? The, you really could do better, Becky, for yourself. You really could. Are you prepared to let this go and move on? Yes. Lisa, Lisa, I was just wondering, have you ever cheated that give him the reason to go somewhere else? I'm sorry, sir. I've never cheated. I, uh, I tried dating and, um... Wait a minute, what's said, what, I tried dating and I hated him. On the, the whole time I was out, the longer I was out with someone else, the more I Dating hated Dating somebody else is not cheating. We were separated, completely. So we're, who, what do you want? Louis, what do you want out of this? Who do you want to be with? What do you want to do with your life? I, I just, I don't know. You know, I, I really don't. I'm just, I, I am telling the truth. I want to try to get back, I want to try to get back with Lisa, all right, but it's... Get back with her? You are with her. I know, I'm, I'm with what her, but that? I don't, you don't understand, you know? There's so all this time you've been married to her, you want to get back somebody, with her. So does that, that mean, are we to assume that you were using Becky just then? Withholding yeah, the commitment like she was using part. Me. Everything else is marriage. He Wait wants a minute, to be just able to walk out without feeling She guilty. was using you for what? She uses every. She got her claws in me because nobody in her neighborhood respects her, and she couldn't find a man in her in her neighborhood. It, no. No man. If you were using. If she was using you, weren't you telling her that you... Did he ever say he loved That's you, Becky? Survived. Lisa, she one second, everybody. please. Did he ever tell you that he loved you? Yes. Do you remember that, Lewis? <laughs> yeah. If she was using you, why'd you say you loved her? Because maybe I was using her, too, you know? Oh, man. That's sad. That's sad. It's a sad... It's, yeah. I'm not you know, saying, Becky, it, I'm not saying hope, it was right. I hope right. you mean what you said. I hope that you are prepared to move on, because you really can do better, honestly. Yeah. All right. We'll come back from this break and uh, a guy, this is a guy who goes to his ex's house just to see his child, but sometimes he doesn't come home. We'll be back. Are you involved with Patty? Is Patty your girlfriend? Yeah. He has to say that. He has to go home with her. But when he get home, it's all have to go story. home with nobody. Experience the special, clean, and fresh feeling of FDS every day. FDS is hypoallergenic. It's uniquely formulated to safely and naturally absorb moisture, leaving you feeling exceptionally clean and fresh. Feel the FDS difference after you shower or any time throughout the day. Spray it on yourself, on panty liners, pantyhose, and underwear. FDS. Use it every day to feel clean and fresh. Where is the one and only place you can get treats like these? Dairy Queen. Who else treats you so right with a special like this? 
the legendary peanut buster parfait is now just $1.29. Lay into layers of Dairy Queen soft serve, thick hot fudge, and peanuts aplenty. It's all here, and it's all yours now for just $1.29. We treat you right, Dairy Queen. With 25% more power, 16-inch wheels, dual airbags, side impact beams, and a new wider stance. It's one formidable 4x4. It'll take you to the top of the mountain or to the corner grocery. The new refined sidekick sport from Suzuki. Ask anyone who owns one. Now through March 31st, lease a new sport for just $206 a month at your Puget Sound Suzuki dealers. Tonight on Cairo News at 5. A police officer regains consciousness after seven years in a coma. We'll have his incredible story. The trial of Seahawks running back Lamar Smith is in its final stage. Hear the dramatic closing arguments. Plus, we'll show you a rat's eye view through the lens of the sewer cam. Cairo News at 5, working harder to bring you more detail, providing more depth to stories that mean something to you. See it tonight. Cairo Means News. Making blue-collar women. Anything we need to do, we can do. Anything. Into blue-collar babes on Jenny Jones. Tomorrow. Does your mother dress and act like a punk? If you're tired of people asking you if that's really your mother, and if you want your mom to stop dressing like a punk and would like us to give her a makeover, call us at 312-836-9457. For your free tickets to attend a live taping of The Jenny Jones Show, call 312-836-9485. here, Patty, says that she's convinced her boyfriend, Gene, is having an affair with his ex-girlfriend, Lisa. We have another Lisa on the show. Now, Gene denies it, but Lisa, who is backstage, will tell a very different story than uh, what, these, what, what Gene is saying. But first of all, what's surprising is, Gene, you're the one who called the show. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> call the show. It's usually, you know, the woman who wants to bring everybody on and sort of get things straight. Why did you call us? Because it's ridiculous what I got to go through at home. You don't understand. What's it like at home for you? <laughs> every, time, every time I leave out the house, he's always accusing me. You know, when I go see my son, first of all, when I go see him, I'm just going to see my son at Lisa's house. And she don't appreciate that. But don't, don't accuse me of having sex with her while I'm there. How come you don't do come home? At one time. She says you don't come home. I don't come home. Mother's Day and uh, your I son's birthday. Drunk. <laughs> you can come home? I couldn't make it home. At your ex's house? No, I wasn't there. I was just, I was at... Um, Patty, you say that he, did, he didn't come home on Mother's Day? No. He didn't come home on his son's birthday? No. Do you know where he was? No. He, he told me he was drunk and he was at his boy's house, but so you it's don't too, that's too much of a coincidence for me. So you don't believe it? No. Okay. What other reason do you have to be suspicious he's still with his ex? Well, I get constant comparisons about um, things that, that I do that she wouldn't do, that he wouldn't have to put up with her. Like he what? what kind of, how does he compare you? Oh, just certain things, you know, like, um, at least she listens. Well, wouldn't that hurt your feelings if, you know, she started, if Patty started talking about what a great lover her ex-boyfriend was or something? I know, see, now, wait a minute now. <laughs> wait a minute now. Now, see, that, that's, there's a difference between somebody cooking better and somebody making love better. That's, that's two different things. Well, either one can still hurt you. That, let's just keep it in, in perspective here. So what, no, so what is, <laughs> all right. He's never done that, right, Patty? He's never done that. No, no. But, but you say that you like still, that. how does it make you feel when he compares you in any way? I don't like it. I don't want to hear that. And, and he'll come back and forth and tell me what she said about me, tell her what I said about her. Tell me, she says, no one will ever love him like she does. Um, oh, you saying she wants him back? Oh, yeah. According to what he says. Jean, does she want you back? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, she does? Yeah, as far as I know. How yeah. do you know? What's she doing? Oh, she tells me. She tells me. Well, let me ask you straight out. Is there anything going on between you and Lisa? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Do you want to hear Lisa's side of the story? All right. Lisa, come on out.
Jenny, you're going to hear my what? story. Hang on one second. Let me introduce you. <laughs> Lisa has lived with Jean for five years and says in reality she is not the ex-girlfriend. Patty is. Very interesting. It's a whole different... Let's hear your story. First of all, it's eight years. We lived together for five. The last three have been off and on. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he will not admit that she is his girlfriend. He will not admit he loves her. He won't admit that he doesn't love me. We have a five-year-old son. We always... He always comes back to me. Always. And he's going to do it this time. Okay? And that's the way it is. is there, he so, knows it, and I know it. Are you saying there is something going on between you and Jean? Yes. A, relation, a relationship? A sexual relationship? No. It's happened. That's a lie. Since he's been with Patty? That's a lie. It's not true? That's a when lie. When were you guys together, Lisa? It's not a lie. When were you guys together? If you, can you ago. tell her when it was? And maybe... She, maybe uh, because he said, he said it's not true. It was on a weekend, Friday or Saturday. And then, and then did he, he left and came home to me? Well, Is probably, just saying? like when he used to be with you and leave and come home to me last year. <laughs> see, Gene no, no, no. has a different story. Somebody's lying. No, he's lying. See, here's the thing. What comes around goes around, okay? Last year... You should listen he, to that, what comes around. No, no, no. You know, yeah. Yeah. she thinks she's just sitting last at home year. waiting. Who's the stupid one? She's still waiting for him to come back. <laughs> Who's the stupid one? She's well, look, Patty, she's just, she's just but with all due respect, waiting. Patty, why? Yeah, hang on, talk. hold on. With all due respect, why? Why are you that much smarter? You're, you you want to be with him too? Well, I don't. I don't. I want to know what's going on. He has a different story, and he says she's saying the stuff to break us up because she thinks there's when we break, break up, up. When we break up, he'll go home to her. That's but, what he but you said there's nothing to, to break up. Are you involved? Okay, Gene, are you involved with Patty? Is Patty your girlfriend? Yeah. He has to say that. He has to go home with her. When what? we get home, it's going to be a different story. I don't have to go story. home with nobody. It'll be <laughs> See, I ain't going to be humiliated out here. I'm sorry. Okay, um, I just want to know what, I mean, what is it that y'all both seeing him? Because it looks to me like he's making both of you all look stupid because he's just playing on both of you all. Okay. It's not oh, so yeah, easy for me, though. Jenny, I can never figure that, that out. For me. Yeah, go it's ahead, Lisa. For me. <laughs> yeah. We have a history. We've been through a lot. We have a child, you know. And when you love somebody for that many years, it's real hard to just let him go. If he doesn't want nothing to do with me, he shouldn't still be with me. If this is his girlfriend. How old is your child? Five years old. A boy or a girl? Boy. Here's a picture. What's his name? Shelby. There he is. <laughs> If she's lying, then Jean, why do you think that she'd be lying about this? Because she wants, she wants to try to break us up. Wrong. If, well, if you're still being with him, if you were with him just a few weeks ago, then you do want him back. He knows that. But he doesn't, you know, I wrote him a letter a few weeks ago telling him that if she is his choice to just let me know and I'll be fine about it, but I want to know one way or another. No more. So you're saying he's, no, play, he's playing both women then? Exactly. He said he already told her that. No, he didn't. Tell him that. Tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me, let's come back. For, let's take a break. We'll come back. Now, they're all saying, Gene, if this is true, you can tell her now in front of the world on national television that it's over. We'll come back and see if Gene wants to do that. This is the new TV guide. Just open it up, and boom, you're there. Inside Star Trek Voyager, an exclusive conversation with Captain Janeway, her first work with Bad Boy Q, and their longtime friendship. When you want to be there, get inside TV Guide. Critics have called Mr. Holland's opus the performance of his career. Richard Dreyfuss is phenomenal, winner of an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Don't miss it. Mr. Holland's opus, rated PG. Now play. Martha Alston thought she'd found Mr. Rogers. I love you! But she was wrong. I'm her lover. Oh, my God. Mr. Wrong. God, you look sexy in that little ass. Rated PG-13. Starts February 16th. I have this bridesmaid's dress that I wore at my sister's wedding, and all I can think of is I'm heavy and fat. That really made me decide to pick up the phone and call Jenny Craig. I just cut through the fat. 
I cut through all my old clothes. I've lost 42 pounds. When I go shopping, I'm shopping for the new me. Call now for a Valentine's special. Lose 19 pounds for $19.96, plus get a free program for a friend. Call 1-800-96-JENNY. That's 1-800-96-JENNY. I've used that bridesmaid's dress to cut up and make little costumes for my children. Leave your wallet at home. No money needed. This President's Weekend at the Bedroom Superstore. Pay absolutely nothing. Make no down payment. Pay no interest and make no payments till 1997. America's largest selection of bedrooms and the mattress is free. Offer ends Monday, 9 p.m. at the Bedroom Superstore. First came the inner spring mattress. Later, the water bed. Now, the best of both, the strata bed. Perfect in any bedroom. Perfect in your bedroom. Strata mattresses available exclusively at the Bedroom Superstore. A new season of Mariner's Magic is about to begin. A fly ball deep into left field. Going, going, goodbye. And Cairo's Tony Ventrella holds your ticket to spring training. Mariner's Extra Innings. Live coverage from Peoria, Arizona. Every night on Cairo News at 10. Bell swing and a miss. He struck him out in a fastball. Tony has the inside track on who's hot and who's not as the Mariners prepare to defend their American League West Championship. Mariner's Extra Innings tonight at 10 on Cairo News, your Mariner's station. Are you fighting with your children because they want to date someone outside of your race and you won't allow it? If you're trying to stop your children from dating someone of another race, call us at 312-836-9454. Out of control daughters. If you get AIDS, you don't care. If I die, I die. What to do? Find out on Jenny Jones. Monday. In case you're tuning in late, Jean is sitting in between two, well, two women, one who says she's the current girlfriend, Patty, one who says she's also the current girlfriend, Lisa, who was supposed to be, we thought, the ex-girlfriend. A couple of things in your interview, Jean, I thought were interesting. One of them was you said if Patty, because Patty keeps accusing you of being with Lisa, you say you're not, Lisa says you are. You said if Patty keeps accusing me, I might as well just go ahead and be with Lisa then. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if she's going to accuse me of something like that, I might as well just go ahead and leave. I don't like being leave accused. Leave or, or cheat on her. Say what? I thought you meant you might as well go ahead and cheat on her and still be with Pat. If you're going to be accused of it, you might as well do it, is what you were right. saying. But let me, let me just read you back, because I, I hate to do this, but there was a very interesting thing, that you, a question you answered in your interview. Uh, the question was, have you and Lisa been together since you've been with Patty? And your answer was, well, no, I ain't going to come on no national talk show and tell you yes anyway. And you laughed, and, but you said, who knows what Lisa will get, will get on the show and say, I guess only time will tell. So, what, what are we to assume from that, from that response? Because I read that and I thought, well, he's obviously having something going on with Lisa. He's not going to come on TV and say it. What, what, is, what is it to say? What, you said, I said, well, no. 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 You said, said no? You said, I'm not going to come on national television. I mean, huh? Patty, how, how do you uh, interpret this, this answer? Um, I, I think something happened a while ago. I think Lisa is blowing things way out of proportion now. Wrong. And, um... Okay, Lisa, Lisa has come on and said... But I, I, think, I think part of it's true. I think, I think things were going on before. Before what? I mean, I don't, I don't think it's been real recent. I don't think he's been with her She the says last they were together weeks. like a yeah, month ago. I don't believe that. You don't believe that? No. So, Lisa, you say you do want him back. Mm -hmm. Jean, you're, you say that you don't want to be with Lisa, and you say she's completely making all this up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, you got... No, what? Jenny, Jenny. What? You got a big smile on your face, but you're playing I mean, with two no, women's no. lives here. You got two women hanging. You owe them at I least. I don't have nobody hanging. She's not hanging. Ask Patty if she's happy. Are you happy? <laughs> well, I do you will be. I mean, if we can get this straightened out. What do you I want to be. happen, Patty? I want. I want a straight answer about it. I want. If, if he doesn't want her, I want her him to tell her. Let her know and and let her move on. <laughs> You know, Jean, if you really want to be with Patty, you know, you got, you're making real short answers to both of them, not giving them any explanation, and you're not even paying any attention to Patty right now. I noticed that, too. You know, body language says a lot when you watch these talk shows. So, so um, <laughs> Patty, you seem to be pretty sure about what you want. 
you're telling Jean that you want to know right now what's mm -hmm. going on, and if he's not going to be with Lisa, he wa you want him to tell her. Right. Jean, are you prepared to do that? I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> Just a minute ago, you said that you would. I mean, what are you going to do? I you never said be I would. I never said I was going to tell her that on TV. Y'all She deserves did. the truth. If you love her, you say she's your girlfriend, this woman is prepared to, for the answer that you give her. Be a man, I'm not saying that you're not a man, but be a man and do what you gotta do, handle yours. You know, if you're not willing to tell Lisa that you don't wanna be with her, then everyone, including Patty, we're all gonna assume that you still wanna have something, you wanna have both women going on. Patty, what do, what do you, I mean, how do you feel about what he just said? I feel like he, he doesn't want to burn that bridge. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, what does this do for you? you Gene, you're saying you, you're not going to do that. You're not going to tell Lisa. I told her that already. Why do I have to come on TV and say it again? I think Patty wants to, that's why Patty wants, yeah, Patty wants to hear it. If this is your girlfriend and you love her and respect her, then that, that's not a big deal to, I mean, if I ask my boyfriend, you know, I mean, any, any sort of faithful guy would say, I'm not with her at all, I'm with you. <clears throat> no, you got, you got to mean it, you got to mean it if you're going to say it. Huh? You have to mean it, if you're going to say it, you got to mean it, because it's oh, important. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. What do you want to do? No, uh, I mean, I, I, I do. I, I love Patty. I'm with Patty now. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not with her. She's shaking her head no. So. Being with somebody doesn't mean you love somebody, okay? Why don't you start talking out of your heart instead of out of your and tell them the truth? <laughs> Patty, I'm sorry, but I just think Jean is totally playing you over. I think that you deserve better than that. It's so obvious to all of us, Patty. I wish you could see it the way we do. <laughs> and you know, it's just that it happens so often, and I hate to repeat myself, but there's so many shows where it's, it's two women sitting with one guy in the middle, and they both want him like, like there's no other guy on the face of the earth they could get. And you gotta take charge. You gotta take control of your life and say, "This is not okay." There, you, there is no you know, you can. Do, you should demand more for no yourself. I'm talking to me. Patty. What? There's no substitute for me. <laughs> Maybe you should take lessons from Lisa on how to scare you, man, what she did to Lewis, because that's the only way you're going to keep him. And I'm a substitution, fair enough. Hey, a, a substitute for me. Yeah, no, seriously, um, I got a girlfriend anyway. Um, <laughs> but listen, right, right. Um, I think that you just need to learn uh, your lesson and get burned by somebody else, and maybe you won't do this to other people. You're taking, with t you're, you're taking a chance here with two women who, one, obviously cares about you, married you, and you got to understand there's kids I'm involved. I'm you know what married. this does to kids? I'm not married. You, okay, you got a kid, right? Yeah. Grow up and be responsible, dude. If I had a kid, I would grow up. Now. You want to know something? Wait a minute now. I take, I take care of myself. What you talking about? What's, what, what are you talking about? You lost me there. Can I say something? Okay, for instance, with our son, he doesn't understand why there's mommy and daddy and then there's Patty. He doesn't understand what this is about. He's five years old. He doesn't understand But this. you know what? He's a boy and kids w w learn totally by example. If this, is if this is what he thinks is good behavior, he's going to do it when he grows up too and it's not fair. Right, you're right. Patty, I mean, he said it sort of uh, half-jokingly, but there are a lot of guys out there that would love to be with you. You can do better for yourself. Same thing I said to, to our, our first guest. Are you going to accept this kind of disrespect? No. Even if no, he said the he words. Still, he still wouldn't tell her. I mean, he knew, he knew what I wanted when, he, when we came yeah. on here. 
I mean, it okay. wasn't it wasn't a secret. What, Lisa? You no. Know? And what about last year when he was cheating on me with you, and instead of me hearing it from him, she had to call, feel she had to call me and inform me what was going on. Okay. Why? So okay, but Lisa, why middle, do you want him back? Was if he was cheating on you, why do you want him back? We have a history. I love him. We have a child. But I you, feel after I'm talking. I feel yeah, after everything we've yes. been through, I earned it. Okay. okay, we're back in a moment. Don't go away. America wants it. Levitt's has got it. It's National President's Days at Levitt's. Over $200 million in furniture inventory. Many items sale price 10 to 40% off. See what just $14.99 buys at Levitt's. This three-piece sectional with side-by-side -side recliner, center console with hidden phone, corner wedge, and sleeper with full inner spring mattress. Buy at Levitt's now and pay no money down. No finance charges. Make no payments till May. Right now at Levitt's. You win some, you lose some. But with a lottery scratch ticket, there's a one in five chance you'll win something. Wouldn't that be nice for a change? Excuse me, I'm with him. If you overextended yourself in 1995 and find it harder to pay the bills on time, call Consumer Credit Counseling. We have a staff of professionals who can help. We're a nonprofit community service, and our services are free, including experts who speak at community groups. Consumer Credit Counseling, with offices conveniently located throughout Puget Sound. Call today if you need help, toll free or direct. Call Consumer Credit Counseling. When the people at QFC begin their day, every person in every department is working hard to make your day the best it can be. The service at your neighborhood QFC, you know it's gonna be good. I'm powerless over alcohol even today. A controversy is brewing over a powerful addiction. I've never had one of anything. It was one all night long. Moderation management challenges the traditional approach to treatment. Here the goal is let's help ourselves moderate our drinking. But does this really work? I chose to enjoy alcohol now in moderation. And is it safe? Watch the cocktail controversy tomorrow on Cairo News at 10. Cairo means news. If you live in any of the areas listed on your screen, you may be able to receive a better picture from Channel 7 Seattle by tuning the UHF channel listed for your locality. Did you tell the man you love that you're pregnant even though you're not because you didn't want him to leave you? If you lied and said you were pregnant and now you want to come clean with the truth, call us at 312-836-9457. Making blue-collar women. Anything we need to do, we can do. Anything. Into blue-collar babes on Jenny Jones. Tomorrow. Gene, you had a chance to think about it. What do you want to do? You want to tell Lisa or not? Yeah, I'll tell her. What do you want to tell her? Go ahead. It's all yours. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't, do don't, uh, don't yell things up. Don't yell up. I love Patty. You're lying. I don't want to be with you. I love Patty. And you'll be Did you think that was sincere and genuine? Yeah, I, I know he loves me. I mean, she, she, she can't accept the truth. She said she's prepared to take his answer, and now she says he's lying. Are you sure he, he loves, loves you? He wouldn't still be with me. Patty, are you sure he loves you, or he just wants to be with you? 
I'm sure he loves me. I know he loves me. I think you're the only one who believes that. <laughs> I think you're the only one. Is it, who, who agrees with Patty? Applaud if you agree with Patty that he does love her. Okay. Thank you. About Thank five you. people. Ask him. Three people. All right, that's it. You can make your decision, but I, I think everybody in the room wants to tell you that if he really loves you, he would be only with you, and he would have meant it when he said it, because I don't, doesn't seem like he meant it. But. <laughs> Let me introduce our next guest. This is LaToya, who says she is sick of her fiance, JR, who's sitting there, of his ex-girlfriend, Kelly, calling all the time. I mean, she calls like... How often? All the time. How She's often? like, can you come over and fix my blinds? But she tells me and him both that she got a man and she don't want JR. Well, if she doesn't want him, what's the reason of calling, can you fix my blinds? Why you can't fix them yourself? Well, t if tell you me, have, let's go back, let's go back a just a little bit to I the beginning. Where did you meet? Where did you we meet? We met at his job. How did you meet? Did he come up to you? Yeah. What did he say? He um, asked me, did I have a boyfriend? And you know, we exchanged numbers and yeah. that was it. Gave him my Did he tell you he was involved with somebody else? Because at that at time, at first, when he met, when I met him, he was with her. But we didn't get together till two months after the fact that we had met. I didn't even talk to him for two months. Okay. You know, so when you did start number. getting with him, as far as you no, know, there she was, was, they were not together. That's what he told you. That I know they were not together. Do you know from her? I know for a fact they were not together. Whatever she says is not going to change my mind because I know this is mine. And well, he ain't going nowhere. He's staying right here. Okay, and what if you find out that he has, he has lied to you? He's not lying to me. She's, she's the one that's lying because she want him, you know? Well, we're not she, sure. I'm not, you're assuming she's going to lie. We don't know yet what she's going to say. I know. But, I know how already. serious is your relationship with JR? We're about to have a child, and we're about to get married in February. I do have to tell you, that's not quite the way Kelly sees it. When we come back, we will meet Kelly after this break. Ricola, the all-natural herb cough drop from Switzerland. When we choose eggs for our noodles, we're very choosy. We choose eggs with no yolks to make noodles with no cholesterol. They cook up fluffier and help you eat healthier. No yolks noodles. We don't have what you don't want. When it comes to tough, compact trucks, there's no doubt the Ford Ranger rules. And right now, you can get a brand new 96 Ranger at a price that rocks. Just $163 a month will get you a red carpet lease on a 96 Ranger XL regular cab 4x2. Lease America's number one selling compact truck with driver's side airbag, rear wheel ABS, and more for just $163 a month. Deals this sweet don't come along every day, so don't miss your chance to save big. Go see your Northwest Ford dealer now. Tonight on Cairo News at 5. A police officer regains consciousness after seven years in a coma. We'll have his incredible story. The trial of Seahawks running back Lamar Smith is in its final stage. Hear the dramatic closing arguments. Plus, we'll show you a rat's eye view through the lens of the sewer cam. Cairo News at 5, working harder to bring you more detail, providing more depth to stories that mean something to you. See it tonight. Cairo Means News. Out-of-control daughters. If you get AIDS, you don't care. If I die, I die. What to do? Find out on Jenny Jones. Monday. If your life story is better than fiction, or if you have a show idea that you think is truly unique, call The Jenny Jones Show at 312-836-9456. Talking to LaToya and JR. LaToya, you're four months pregnant. You're seriously involved with JR. You're planning to get married, although I didn't know that. JR, is that true? You're going to get married? Yeah. Okay. And she says, if, if you're through with Kelly, your ex girlfriend, why is she calling all the time? 
You asking me? I'm asking you. Well, I think Kelly at first, you know, I think she thought she had a chance of getting me back. Mm -hmm. And so she started calling. And, you Do you know, think like, she wants you back? I well, let's think, ask her. I think it's still there. Let's ask her. Kelly, come on out. Apparently, Latoya, Latoya is JR's girlfriend. She says you're calling all the time. Are you calling a lot? No, I do not call JR. I haven't talked to JR over a month until on the 9th of November. He called me on that Thursday. He asked me what happened to the baby, and I told him. And then I got another call, and I told him I would call him back to finish the conversation. First of all, Jim. What happened to what baby? I ain't even going in that because that's my personal business, what happened to it. I didn't even have to tell him. You when lost, I, well, but, but in your interview, you said that you lost a child. Yeah, I did, you, but you I'm not even, I don't want to, I told him too that I didn't even want to tell him what happened to it, either the reason why, what, why it's gone. And he know the reason why what it's is, gone. What is your relationship with JR now? They're nothing but friends, and he, he sat up and told me, when, um, when he called me that day, he told me, that they be arguing and stuff. He told me they probably, he told me about, she been in the military and she's talking about her kids two That's or three right. years ago. He That's told right. Me, no, he sat up. You he said you're me, nothing but nothing about your Kelly, business. Uh, nothing. He sat up and he called Kelly, me. Kelly, one second. Oh, yeah. you, said that, you said that there's nothing going on, you guys are just no, friends. No, we're not nothing. And but I you said that, just on, friends. what happened on October 3rd? I told him that was the last time we had sex, and he said that she tried to cut his hair, and she cut a gas out of it on his side, and sure I did. cut it off with scissors and used a razor blade to shave your legs, and he know I'm not lying because he said he was going to say his sister did it. First of all, Jenny. He know I'm not lying. I'm telling my kids life, and he know I'm not lying. My nine-year-old daughter, she seen that. First of all, she was saying that. Uh, but but you, you, well, one second though, Kelly, if oh. you know he's with LaToya, why would you still be I didn't know, no. First of all, I, he told me that he was dating somebody, but he was kicking what he said. It wasn't even saying, I didn't even know she was pregnant until about two or three weeks ago until he told me that. I didn't even know. So maybe JR, that's why I said earlier, maybe JR hasn't been JR completely. Was like this. Can I say one thing? When I met JR, I met him the same way she met him. He came up behind me and he said, I like your pink slippers you got on. Asked me, I had a man. I said, no. Asked well, me for my number. Me about my slippers, no. I ain't had no slippers on. I don't go to no damn grocery store with no slippers on. You know what? Birthday. I read your interviews. I, I, okay. the, the way that you met was exactly the same, right, okay, Jr. You, you, you approached you Jr. On Jr. One second, one second. Jr. You approached both women the same way. Mm -hmm. You got a man, no, and you exchanged numbers, right? I find, I find that that's usually the most respectful way. I don't step to I don't step to someone wrong. I mean, if someone has a man, I'd he like to know. He didn't have a man. Oh, oh, it's a respectful he, way to meet somebody. Is it respectful yeah. when you're involved no, with one with woman to be with somebody no, else? When I met Latoya. Kelly and I were on the way out. There was too much fighting and too much arguing, and it wasn't going to last, and I saw that. But after you, you met know. LaToya, did you ever go back to Kelly? No. Yeah. Oh. Yes, you did. Uh, yes, you, he did. No, you said actually, she did. Actually, yes, she yes, did. Yes, I did. And according about the blind to who, tip away, so I'm going to tell you about yes, that. Yes, I did. Blind. According to who? On the blind. Can, can I speak? Yes, according to say. your interview. You said, according yes, after, interview? after you met LaToya, you did go back to oh, Kelly. I thought you said after I had got together with LaToya. Oh, so it was before after you actually I, were... After I, okay, let me explain to y'all. Okay. After I got this woman's phone number, I didn't call her for about two months, okay? We didn't speak. I didn't, I didn't get to know her, So nothing. you're saying you were officially split with Kelly when you went with LaToya? Exactly. Okay. Uh, it seems to me that uh, uh, Kelly says that she had a child and lost it, that they were both pregnant about the very same time. Well, that, that's kind of questionable as well, I think, because um, I, I doubt that there really ever was a child. Jenny. If you doubt it, you didn't say for sure it couldn't be yours. If you doubt it, that means that you were with her. Well, You're I'm, just I'm not, not sure. I'm not a, a gynecologist, so I couldn't really tell you for sure. But you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't yours, you, then you, if you had never been with her, you would have said, it can't be mine. I was never with her. But if you well, doubt if, it, then you if, were. If the date that she gives me is correct, then no. It couldn't. So what do you, what do you want now? You, who do you want to be with? This is my baby right here. Why, Kelly, do you think he wants to be with LaToya? I, I guess he loves her, but I, I can't 
came on this show to let her know and him know. I do not want him, and he knows. And I asked him a gang of time on the phone. Matter of fact, okay. when he was hang calling on, me, hang on, hang on, hang on. You don't want, want him. him. They're all saying, just slow down a little bit. You say you don't want him, no, no, but I think no, Latoya, no, one thing, hang, one thing she wants to but do is to give to give you a warning about Jr. What do you want to warn her about? As far as JR um, is concerned. Um, on the 14th, uh, last week, uh, when, on the 14th of November, me and my friend Kiana went up on uh, JR's job, but I wasn't going to see him. I went to take her mm -hmm. to the store. He was out there with a mm -hmm. half free female. If you don't believe That's me, honey, you said. need to go up there and That's check it out for yourself. Said. Matter of fact, said. he tried to get up my but cousin. But you know what? You know what? And you know what, and Kelly? You know, know what? what? Okay, we're going to take a break. You've been warned. She wanted to come on here to tell she you she doesn't want to be with him. Before we take a break, let me just tell you one thing. You've been warned by her. She says that he is not faithful, wasn't faithful to her, is not going to be faithful to you. If that's the well, case, that's if that's, that's the her. case, you're going to find yourself down the road with a baby and no man, and that's no, not I'm fair to the baby. I'm going to have okay? my man. Be right back. Now the left hand are ready. Kane inserted. It's over. The AL West Championship game replay. Saturday at noon, only on Cairo TV 7. This is the new TV guide. Just open it up, and boom, you're there. Inside Star Trek Voyager, an exclusive conversation with Captain Janeway, her first work with Bad Boy Q, and their longtime friendship. When you want to be there, get inside TV Guide. Seems like everybody wants to get their paws on what they're setting out at Black Angus. Grilled top sirloin with pan-roasted garlic, barbecue baby back ribs, and a junior Wild West onion. There's nothing better. Steak topped with garlic, barbecued ribs, and your old Wild West onion, just $10.99. <laughs> Not just what happened, but why. Not just more stories, but more depth. Not just more coverage, more commitment. More people bringing you more of what's important in your world. At Cairo News, Steve Rabel and Susan Hutchison anchor the largest team of news gathering professionals in the Northwest. Just watch tonight at 5 and understand why Cairo means news. Um, when we do these kind of shows, you see women that are like, you know, splitting up, and another woman's involved. But you'd be surprised how many times a woman, and, and, like a, a couple, gets back together. You see it happen. People get divorced and they get remarried. So if you're going to get involved with somebody that's involved with somebody else, really know that they're done because people split up. They try to work things out. Give them a chance to work it out before you get involved. And then when you do get involved, have a, a like a established relationship before you have children because we have two babies involved with these stories. First of all, they're going to learn by example, and secondly they may wind up without having both parents and it's a lot better for a child today to have both parents in their lives so thank you all again very much for sharing your stories thank you. guests of the jenny jones show stay at the best western inn of chicago located just steps from michigan avenue for reservations call 1-800-557-BEST The fate of Seahawks running back Lamar Smith is now in the hands of a jury. Smith is accused of recklessness in a car crash that left a former teammate paralyzed. We'll take you inside the courtroom today for closing arguments ahead. The search is on for a missing Linwood mother and her two-year-old daughter. Her disappearance may be linked to an illegal alien. The police officer who awoke from a seven-year coma underwent surgery today. We'll update this remarkable story. And if you've tried everything but still... That cold and flu is making life miserable for you. Our health specialist, Mickey Flowers, can help her report in our next half hour. I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Susan Hutchison. Cairo News is next. The new Lincoln Mercury Jeep or Eagle at the number one volume dealer in the Northwest. Jerry Solomon's Renton Lincoln Mercury Jeep Eagle. How about a 96 Mercury Cougar with 4.8% financing or $600 cash back? A brand new 96 Mercury Villager with 4.8% financing or $1,000 cash back. For Jeep lovers, a 95 Jeep Wrangler from $13,499 or a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo from only $24,999. That's at Jerry Solomon's Renton Lincoln Mercury Jeep Eagle. Right on the corner, right on the price at 7th and South Rainier in Renton. Honey, look, it's her.
that lady from the Sprint commercial is about 10 cents a minute. Huh. Hi, how are you? I just love your dime a minute rate. Oh, isn't that nice? Me too. It's good anywhere in the country. And now I hear you can call all the way to Canada for a dime. Canada? Really? Oh, look at that. Special on paper towels. Drive to Canada? That's bigger news than anything you'll find in there. This? Oh, this isn't mine. Blech. Call now to get 10 cents a minute across the U.S. and now even to Canada. The revolution that could change who you are, Monday at 10. This is Cairo News at 5. With Steve Rabel, Susan Hutchison, Harry Wampler with weather, and Tony Ventrella on sports. With Seattle Seahawks' Lamar Smith drunk and reckless when he plowed his car into a Kirkland utility pole? The 1994 accident left Seahawks' Mike Fryer paralyzed. Smith's vehicular assault trial is now in the hands of the jury. Cairo's Karen O'Leary has been following the trial and has a full report on today's closing arguments. Karen. In order to find Lamar Smith guilty, the jury must decide that he was either reckless or drunk the night of the accident. A Smith's attorney insists that he was neither. It is up to the jury to decide. Seahawks running back Lamar Smith is an accomplished athlete. King County prosecutors say he is also an accomplished liar. If the defendant was in fact sober and was in fact making reasonable choices about his driving that night, there was absolutely no reason for him to begin spinning those lies. In her closing arguments, Deputy Prosecutor Brenda Bannon reminded jurors that Smith lied on the night of the accident, telling police he wasn't driving, that he wasn't injured, and neglecting to tell...